in a zone, it, do you approach this game any differently? Because uh, you can't really focus in on one guy going after one guy. What's your approach coming into this game? Uh, a lot of step across, step across layups, step across dunks. Uh, I know we get into the lane, uh, we'll get easy drop offs uh, or kick outs for threes. And, excuse me. I think I uh, should have the same, I mean, same uh, look going into this game. Just. Just try to grab a lot of the offensive rebounds. They, I mean, in a zone, there's a lot of gaps to go grab offensive rebounds. And uh, just try to grab some rebounds, give this team uh, some second chances. Right here in the second row. Kind of uh, back on the Rutgers theme a little bit. How did you uh, maintain your composure after Elijah Johnson flagrantly fouled you? As you, uh, you know, I'm not one to react to, uh, I mean, like, I guess, that kind of play, a dirty play like that. I mean, I just got up and was like, all right, I mean, I'm not going to go at anybody if they did it. And hopefully the ref, ref catches it. And I said something to the ref, so they finally did. But, you know, I guess uh, in a sense it's kind of karma. Uh, in the end, we ended up hitting that big shot. And he made a couple misplays. Yeah, I mean, he got, I mean, he got in foul trouble, so that was I mean, yeah. kind of a mistake by him. And he sat out the rest of the first half and wasn't in there much. So kind of bad on his part. Question here to our right. Mitch, Syracuse was pretty confident when we talked to them about this game and their matchup against you guys. Brendan Treese said that Syracuse has a mismatch at every position in this game. What's your response to, to that? I mean, you know, I think we're, we're an evenly matched team. I think going into this game, they're a great defensive team. They're in the zone. Uh, but they also uh, do uh, – they also have a great offensive team, a very long and athletic team who can uh, – you can shoot from the from, shoot from the perimeter and also uh, get easy layups and dunks. But uh, I mean, from our aspect, our team has just as many athletes, and uh, I mean, our, our, we have long long guards, long forwards who are just as uh, defensively equipped as them. So I think it's going to be a good matchup. So I take it you disagree then? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I would never talk that bad about another team. Always good things, but uh, I think I think it's going to be a good matchup. Right down here in front. Mitch, how eager are you to put the Fab Five stuff to rest, and uh, how do you feel like maybe this team would, would stack up against that team top to bottom? <laughs> you know, it's it's two different ty uh, two two different eras. I mean, that was back in the '90s, different different type of play. You know, they did bring out like the highlight reel uh, Fab Five, and, and Glenn kind of does that nowadays. But <laughs> and Tim and and uh, a couple guys on the team, but. You know, I think it's too. I mean, you can't compare each other. Us five or seven five, and I think for the Fab Five, uh, just us being called the Fab Five. I don't think it's like a real good recollection because we're just we're not all five freshmen on the court. I mean, there is five freshmen, but I think we're just going out there having fun and uh, doing everything for the team. Question here to our left. You pinch yourself a little last year being in high school. This year you're in the Final Four. I mean, you're like, wow. Yeah, I did after. Uh, I did twice after the Kansas game and pinched myself in the locker room like was that for real? And then after the Florida game was in the locker room just like, man, we're going to the final four. It's, it's kinda of surreal at first, but you know, uh, we took a day off and embraced that moment and then uh, just started focusing on Syracuse from there. What's been the biggest transition for you? Because you really come on here. Is it one thing or several things? Uh, you know, just just uh, confidence level. My confidence has been uh, it's uh, just been I mean, skyrocketed since the last uh, since the last about five or six games. You know, just giving me the opportunity to to go in there and provide the energy for my team and uh, just just being healthier, a lot healthier, losing a lot of weight and getting down to that right weight where uh, I can help my team in the most 